unit conversions are essential for all your science and math classes. Science is built on measurement, and you can't measure anything without units. So it's super important that we know how to convert from one type of unit to another. And there's a common mistake that a lot of students make. I'm going to help you prevent that. So let's say you started off with 10 meters and that you wanted to convert that into the unit of kilometers. We should know that there are 1,000 meters in one kilometer. So here's how it works. Here's how you do a unit conversion. Step one is you write down the starting unit, in this case, 10 meters. And then right after that, we're going to put a set of parentheses, open and closed, with a division line right down the middle. Now, what we want to have happen is for the meters to cancel out and then turn into kilometers. So next to the 10, because the meters is in the numerator, we're going to put meters in the denominator such that they cancel. Okay, and then what do we want those meters to turn into? Kilometers, so we're going to put that up top. So the ticket is to put the units in first because they tell you where to stick the numbers. See how the meters cancel? That's what you want. Now, the units tell you where to put the numbers. There are 1,000 meters in one kilometer. So this is the key step. The units tell you where to put the numbers. The most common mistake that students make is to multiply when they should divide or divide when they should multiply, and this method ensures that you prevent that. So we'll just think of this as two fractions. We'll think of this as 10 over 1. And we're multiplying fractions. So we just multiply across the top and multiply across the bottom to get 10 over 1,000 kilometers. You saw the meters canceled. That's the point. We can hack a 0 to get 0 0.01 kilometers.